All right, welcome. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make um, extracts, uh, tinctures of mushrooms. And this is for medicinal mushrooms for um, being healthy and you know helping your immune system, helping your nervous system, depending on which which mushroom you're doing. Today I'm making chaga, turkey tail, reishi, and lion's mane tinctures. Some of the things you're going to need is either a pot, or I'm sorry, a pot with a lid and then a crock pot with a lid. Either one is fine. I prefer the crock pot because it's a little bit cooler and I can leave it unattended overnight and I don't have to worry about it. Um, this is for the decoction part. And then for the alcohol extraction, which takes the longest time, you're gonna need some mason jars. And I use half gallon mason jars. And they, they fit about a half to a quarter pound of mushrooms in each, each one, depending. Um, with a chaga, you're only gonna wanna fill it up halfway because you really can't squeeze much out of it, so you gotta have a lot of alcohol up at the top. You wanna take at least two weeks for it to sit in there and um, let all the, the compounds go out into the alcohol, and you wanna shake it up every week or two, or depending on how long. Some of these have been going for a couple of months, um, like the, uh, the chaga that I was doing, it was about eight months old. Um, and it was in the fridge the whole time. You don't have to do it in the fridge, you can leave it out on the shelf, but I just kept it in the fridge because I, I wasn't sure when I was gonna get to it. But, um, so from there, what you want to do is you want to get some little bags. Uh, these are tea bags, large tea bags. And I will take the, I'll take the reishi here, for example. And you want to take a bowl, and this bowl is just for squeezing out into. All right, I'm going to pop it. And we're going to dump all the contents into here. And then we're going to squeeze it out. Like I said, with the chaga, you don't want to, uh, have it jam-packed because you're not going to be able to squeeze out. It's almost like squeezing coffee grounds. But with things like turkey tail, reishi, they're a little bit more kind of spongy. And you'll see it all just squeeze right out. So you see it just squeezes out, give it a little twist. So that way it doesn't come out of the opening. And the reishi is really easy to squeeze. So with this alcohol I'm using, um, Svedka, I also use um, New Amsterdam, basically anything middle shelf. You don't want to get too fancy with it, but you don't want to use like that plastic bottle, uh, well kind of, you know, garbage uh, vodka. And what you're looking for is 20% alcohol content in the end, and vodka is 40. So what you do is um, you shoot for half and half. You shoot for half this, the alcohol, and then half of the decoction liquid in the end. And the way that I do that is, so now I have the dried out reishi powder, okay? And what I'll do is I'll take the, uh, the quart one, let's find one that has measuring, measurements on it, and you'll see why. All right, so uh, I got about 500 milliliters. So I'm gonna take another one and just fill it up with water to 500 milliliters. So this is what my target is, all right? And I'm gonna add it to this, add it to the crock pot. All right, and let's stir it in a little bit, make sure it's all absorbed. And I'm gonna mark my stick here that I have, this is my measurement stick, for what I wanna be at the end, because I'm gonna have to add a little bit of water for evaporation. So let's make sure all this got soaked in. It's almost like a paste. All right, and we're just gonna measure the water level. I then mark it with a Sharpie. So that's the level, when I stick this in, that's the level that I want the water to be when I do the extraction, when I squeeze it out, when I, when I finish the decoction. And I'm gonna add about another 500 milliliters just for to make up for evaporation and to help with it getting boiling so I can stir it. Now it's more soupy kind of, um, you can see. So now it's actually like a, almost like a mushroom soup, you know? So I'll, I'll put the lid on this and I'll put it on low and I'll let it go overnight. I do it in the garage because it stinks up the house. And then um, from there, I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll squeeze out, when, once it gets to where the, the water level is at that marker, which right now, you know, it's underwater. Um, once it gets to that level, I'll turn it off and I'll let it cool down for a little bit, take the lid off, let it cool down, and I'll do the same thing. I'll squeeze out into, I'll put it into this, this squeeze it out, 
and then I'll mix it 50-50. So this should make a full quart of um, extract. So that'll be, what is that? I think it's 32 ounces. So that's about $300 worth of tinctures right there. Um, you wanna make sure you use gloves, especially for like the chaga, because the chaga will stain you. It'll stain your hands. And also you use for, for hygiene purposes, you wanna wear gloves. Um, so this is the first part. I'll cover another part later on, on the bottling. So hopefully you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And uh, check out the link below where I'll have the bags and I also have the rest of the, the supplies that I use, my bottles, my labels and all that for tinctures. All right, hope you like it. Take it easy, keep on mushroom.